Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you the information of every perk in detail and with timestamps. So let's get started with the red perk. The first perk is the overclock perk. It increases the speed to charge the operator. I will start the timer as the operator has started loading. I will kill two enemies and will wait for it to charge the operator. So if you're a type of guy who usually kill two enemies and hide, then the operator will take 3 minutes to load for you. Now let's try without the overclock operator. Hardpoint identified. We tied Without the overclock operator and killing two enemies, it takes extra 1 minute which is way higher for a small multiplayer matches. Now the next perk is fast recover, it helps you to recover help with 35% faster. I will damage myself using the thermite till 5% of health. Friendly airstrike incoming. It takes a total 6 seconds with fast recover to regenerate health from 5%. Hard point lost. Let's try without the fast recover perk. It takes 3 seconds extra without the fast recover. Next perk is Skulker, it helps to walk or crouch 12% faster. Let's test the Skulker. I will walk and won't sprint to make it work. So it took me 4 seconds and have to reach the swing with the Skulker perk. Now let's do the crouch testing. With Skulker crouching it takes 8 and half second to reach the swing. Let's do it without the Skulker perk. Without Skulker it takes around 5 and 20 seconds to reach the swing. Let's do the crouching test. This is the result of the Skulker. The Flak Jacket perk helps in a lot of way. The first feature is the 30% explosive reduction. Let's test the C4 with the Flak Jacket. With Flak Jacket I could retain 50% of health. Without Flak Jacket you only can survive with 25% of the health. Flak Jacket also helps you to control the damage taken from the Molotov. Even though I was there in the fire, I was able to survive easily. Without flak jacket, I was nearly dead and won't survive most of the time. You may not be aware of this feature of the flak jacket. Whenever you pick up a thrown grenade, it resets the time of it. As you can see the timer keeps on restarting and not exploding even though I use it multiple times. Now let's do it without the flak jacket. The timer doesn't reset. The agile perk helps to climb any object faster than before. Though, it's very hard to notice and I wasn't able to make a video about it. The next perk is restock. The name itself defines the perk. It helps to restock any throwable. 
It can also restock the C4 which is really useful. It says it takes only 20 seconds to restock. The timing is correct. It only takes about 20 seconds. The Tactician perk feels like a restock perk. But what it does is that it gives you extra 1 ammo for the tactical equipment. For example, smoke, flashbang etc. The next perk is Martyrdom. It's quite simple but unbreakable perk. As it can even kill a professional player if they are not aware of it. To use this perk you simply need to die and there will be a grenade to take your revenge. The red blinking is the grenade. The next perk is Iron Lungs, it help you to hold your breath for some good steady sniper shots. The player was able to hold his breath for 7 seconds long. Without the iron lungs, the player can only hold breath for like 2 seconds which is a big 5 seconds difference. The perk is totally worth it. The latest red perk is pinpoint. What it basically does is outlines the enemy for seconds whenever you hit them or take damage. Targets in sight. The first green perk is the Gung Ho. This perk helps to move very faster while hip firing. This perk helps you to run faster while using any throwable items as well as while hip firing. As you can see the player is moving very fast even while using a throwable. The next perk is Vulture. This perk helps to earn ammo from the body whenever you kill the enemy. This is how it will look like with Vulture perk. The tracker green perk enables the red footprint of the enemy for a duration of 4 seconds. If you closely check, you can see the red footprint of the enemies. These footprint helps to know if the enemy is hiding somewhere or was close to your location. The next perk is the cold-blooded perk. If we just imagine, this perk make you cold enough to not be detected by the AI-controlled devices such as hunter-killer drone. As you can see the drone is not attacking me. The next perk is Toughness. This perk will help you to reduce the hit flinch by 60%. You might be wondering what is hit flinch. Hit flinch means when you're firing the enemy, and he opens back the fire on you. Your recoil will take effect and will shake due to the enemy's fire. But with Toughness, the recoil will be reduced by 60% and you will have an upper hand. The lesser the hit flinch the good it is. The next perk is the Ghost. This perk basically makes you invisible to the equipment that detects your location. With this perk the UAV and advanced UAV won't be able to detect your location. As well the VTAL, Predator Missile, and Heartbeat Sensor won't sense your presence. The next perk is Amp Perk. This perk lets you swap weapon faster, throw grenade faster as well as the launcher reload speed gets reduced. Example of faster grenade swap. Now the example of launcher reload speed. It takes around 1.3 seconds with the amp perk, which is a really less time and is useful for those who uses FHJ-18 frequently. This perk is known as quick fix. The name resembles the perk quite well. It helps to quickly recover the player whenever you kill the enemy. But yeah, it has a gape of 2 seconds to recharge the perk.
Let me show you the example of it. As you can see the health took a big leap with the quick fix perk. See the incrementation in the health is very quick. Quickly I will show you how it will look without the quick fix perk. Without the perk it takes nearly 4 seconds to get the health to 100%. This is, Recon Perk. Whenever you kill any enemy it will show you the location of the enemies that were nearby to it. Personally I don't find this perk much useful. Let me show you the example of this perk. So this is how the radar works. It creates a pulse-like effect on the map and search for the enemies. This is hardwired perk. It offers very low functionalities. It will make you immune to the counter UAV and EMP grenade. As well as won't trigger the enemy's trip mine. The next perk is by Craft. It lets you hack the enemy's equipment and gain control to it. The sentry gun is now hours after hacking. Though, gyroscope user will find it hard to hack the equipment as you are not allowed to move your screen while hacking. The first blue perk is the persistence. The persistence won't reset after you die. As well as there are three types of classes for score streak. You can only have one score streak from a specific rank. For example, I can't use Hunter Killer Drone as I already have a UAV which both are from the same rank. Apart from this feature, there's the usual feature everybody know about. The next blue perk is the Hard Line. It help you to earn extra 25 for each kill. Which mean you will get 125 XP point for killing a player. It's really a useful feature to fill the score streak. The next blue perk is the Demo Expert. This perk increased the explosive damage by 25%. This perk may look useless but it's actually useful. You can use this perk against the red perk which saves you from 35% of explosive damage. And damage them in such a way that they won't recover health easily. This perk is known as Tactile Mask. With this perk you can decrease the effect of tactical equipment such as Amp Grenade, Concussion, Flash Drone etc. This blue perk is Sharpnel. It will add an extra lethal equipment to the player. Lethal means the equipment which causes damage. Hard point identified. Here you can see that I have two C4 bomb instead of one, with the help of this Sharpnel perk. So for each and every lethal equipment like grenade, it will work and provide extra ammunition. The next perk is Dead Silence. It's one of the most simple and self-explanatory perk. With this perk, if you walk, crouch or prone, you won't make any type of footstep. The name of this perk is High Alert, with this perk you can get an alert in the map if enemy out of your view watches you. As well as you can even mark the enemy using your ADS. A yellow marker will appear above the enemy as a mark. This blue perk is known as Launcher Plus Perk. With the help of this perk we can get extra 2 ammunition for any launcher you use with your loadout. Hard point identified. The Launcher Plus Perk is useful for those who doesn't want to die and still want to destroy the enemy VTOL. This is the Alert Perk. It is used to know the general location of the map. In my usage I didn't find any major changes while using the perk. So not much of a good perk. 
This is the engineer perk. It has two benefits. One is the ability to see the traps of enemies such as trip mine, C4, as well as to re-roll the care package. Whenever you use the care package with the engineer perk, and don't like the package, then you can easily change it using the reset button shown here. I didn't like this package, so I would reset and got the chopper. And this is it for the long detailed video of the perk. It took me 100 hours to create this video. So do comment about it.